it's a Shadowcast 16. The whole boat only weighs 2,500 pounds with the trailer included. And even though I have a double wheel here for moving the boat around, it's still not that easy because boats get off center. So what I recently bought for $800 total, eight, actually $855, is the Tow Tough Adjustable Electronic Trailer Dolly. Now, I wasn't so sure about it. I thought it was kind of a risk, but I researched and I researched online, checked out all kinds of different towing options and um, assistance that they had out there, and there's a lot. They range all the way from 250 up to $3,000 to do what this little guy does with uh, two 12-volt um, batteries in parallel, 24 volts, to move up to 3,500 pounds around fairly easy. There's not a whole lot of description on the website, and they don't have a lot of videos. So I was really taking a risk by ordering this thing through Tractor Supply. Now, I got it through Tractor Supply. It only took a week to get it during Christmas time, and that was pretty good. So, but the instructions that came with it from China were the worst written instructions. Had it not been for the pictures they provided, I honest to God would not have known how to put the wiring together in this thing. They said it should only take 20 minutes. It took about an hour and a half to put the wiring together correctly. And of course, if you don't put the wiring together correctly, you can have a short circuit and the whole thing can go up in flames. So you really do need to know what you're doing. However, got it all done uh, with the wife's assistance too. And now I'm going to simply demonstrate that when you are moving this around, and the videos that are online about the tow tough are fairly good as to showing you how to jack it up under this. I can't do it because I don't have a, a helmet cam on right now. But anyway, the, the manual did not tell you how to start this thing once you got it all wired up and charged. There is a start button here, but first you have to turn it on there. And once you turn it on, then, and you press this button, you'll see the battery power lights showing the level of the battery here. This is simply a safety to let you go and forward and stop. The problem with this particular unit is there is no brake on it. It's you are the brake. So this is forward, this is reverse. So I'm going to put it on forward right now and show you using just one hand how easy it is to move this thing. This thing goes at about a one and a half miles per hour max moving the boat. This is a 2,500 pound boat and trailer I'm moving right here right now. And I'm going up about a two degree incline. So you can easily see how easy it does go. Now again, there's no brake on this thing. So you don't ever want to be on a surface that's got more than a three to four degree slope. So now I'm going to put it on reverse, press the button again. But here, so you see, did you see it rise up on me? You have to have both hands, which I don't have right now, on the handlebar here because you have to exert downward pressure with your body. Otherwise, it will rise up on you and the boat will come crashing down onto your driveway. You do not want that to happen. Okay, so, oh my God. So anyway, um, I just noticed something else that the ball hitch did not lock correctly. That's not good. So here we go. Oh, and I need to go forward to get this back up here. Gotta get this on dry ground. And you notice it does struggle. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now that you've seen it go forward and backwards, 